The Pratt & Whitney JT-8D engine installed on the Boeing 737-200 uses engine pressure ratio as the thrust indicating parameter. Engine pressure ratio, or EPR, is the numeric ratio of the total pressure as measured at the exit of the turbine section of the engine, referred to as engine station number 7, divided by the total pressure measured at the inlet of the compressor section of the engine, referred to as engine station number 2. The ratio is expressed as PT7 over PT2. This parameter is displayed for each engine on an analog gauge in the flight deck and is the gauge the flight crew uses to set and monitor thrust for each JT-8D engine. During takeoff, the power levers are advanced in the cockpit by the pilot until the EPR gauges are indicating the target thrust value as determined by the airplane's weight and airport conditions. Airflow velocity increases through the engine, which in turn increases the EPR as sensed by the PT-7 and PT-2 probes. In a normally functioning EPR system, this target thrust would result in the engines producing a level of thrust that airplane performance has been predicated upon. In the accident case, snow and ice were ingested into the engine inlet in large quantities and plugged the front probe of the PT2 sensor. Since total pressure is a probe made up of both static and dynamic ports, the dynamic portion was now plugged, leaving the probe only sensing static pressure at engine station number two. This resulted in an EPR display that was actually a product of a functioning PT7 probe, but a PT2 probe now only sensing static pressure. This resulted in an apparent thrust value equal to the desired target based upon the cockpit display, but at significantly reduced engine airflows and actual thrust levels. This thrust shortfall resulted in a longer than normal takeoff roll and deteriorated climb performance after liftoff.